Carnotaurus is a large species of theropod dinosaur from what is now known as South America. Despite its size, it was quite lightly built. A full-grown Carnotaurus was 25 to 30 feet in length, stood 12 feet tall, and weighed one and a half tons in weight. Scientists are unsure of what this dinosaur ate, but many scientists believe it ate anything from relatively small animals such as ornithopods, to relatively small sauropods. This carnivorous dinosaur is complete with an arsenal of weapons and defenses. Having quite long and well-muscled legs, it was a fast runner, being able to reach speeds in excess of 30 miles per hour. Perhaps Carnotaurus's most impressive features are the pair of large horns on its head. Scientists are unsure of their use, but it is believed that they might have been used to headbutt opponents. With a strong neck and spinal column to back it up, the skull of Carnotaurus was specially designed to withstand shocks from headbutting behavior. Despite the fact that it had a large head, its forearms were comparatively tiny compared to its body size and were smaller than those of Tyrannosaurus. Unlike T-Rex, however, Carnotaurus had rows of bony scutes along its back, neck, and tail that would have served as protection. But will this be enough to keep it safe from the deadly attacks of Cryolophosaurus? Straight from the continent of Antarctica, Cryolophosaurus was the top predator of its domain. It measured around 8 feet in height, 20 to 23 feet long from nose to tail, and weighed around half a ton. Cryolophosaurus also had fancy headgear, but not for fighting. Instead, scientists believe that it was used for display purposes, since it was too fragile to withstand much pressure. It is due to this crest that Cryolophosaurus has been nicknamed Elvasaurus after Elvis Presley. Though being more than half as small as Carnotaurus, this carnivorous creature has weapons in its arsenal that could bring a turning point in a fight. For one thing, its light weight made it a fast runner, and it would have been incredibly agile, even more so than the fast and agile Carnotaurus. Oh, it had relatively weak jaws, so in a fight, Cryolophosaurus's best defense would have been to use its razor-sharp claws on its hands. Now it's time for the face-off. It's the mating season, and a male, Carnotaurus, is looking for a mate. But in doing so, he enters the territory of a ferocious Cryolophosaurus who doesn't like visitors dropping in unannounced. The scene is set for an encounter between a bull-faced monster and the dinosaur version of Elvis Presley.
Carnotaurus wins in this fight. But why? The male Cryolophosaurus, being much smaller in size, tries to drive the Carnotaurus off of his territory. However, Carnotaurus knows that he is larger and intends on winning this fight. Fueled with testosterone, he charges with his heavy head, hoping to headbutt the smaller rival. Carnotaurus is fast, but not fast enough, and misses Cryolophosaurus. As the largest dinosaur recovers, Cryolophosaurus takes the opportunity to do an attack of his own. Leaping onto Carnotaurus' back, he uses his sharp claws in vain, as they can't penetrate the tough armor of this dinosaur. Eventually, Carnotaurus is able to defeat his rival with his mass and crushing neck bite, sending Cryolophosaurus to his doom. Next time, we'll go to the mystical forests of China to witness a duel between the ever-popular giant panda and the slinky feline known as the Black Panther. Thank you.